trauma can eat away slowly at your confidence, at your self-worth, at your personality, at your sparkle. You know, it can eat away at so many things if it's undealt with. Although it's a touchy subject, we'll always make sure that we're, um, you know, we're respecting those boundaries that you may have. But it's important to address trauma whenever we can because it actually becomes this gray cloud overhead. It becomes this thing that this unspoken thing that nobody wants to talk about and everybody knows that that person went through divorce or childhood trauma but nobody wants to talk about it so that person carries this burden of this stuff that's been going on or the stuff that happened and they're never able to talk about it so is it something that just follows you around is it something that directly impacts the way you're able to make relationships or Um, the the way you're able to carry yourself, does it stop you from being happy day to day? When you're by yourself, are you finding your, you know, that you're mostly unhappy, right? So trauma can, unhealed trauma can directly impact somebody's overall physical and mental health. So when a client comes in and they're presenting a certain concern, we may discuss and say, you know, have you ever thought about when this started? Um, did, can you pinpoint one memory that you feel that maybe your depression set in or something that made you really sad and hopeless for a couple days on end? When they're able to identify a specific date or a specific event, a lot of the times I will identify, you know, that's a traumatic event and keep kind of desensitizing the word trauma and saying, that's a traumatic experience, no matter how small or how big. It doesn't have to be this one catastrophic event. It can be small little ones. It can be one small little one. It all just depends on how resilient you were to process that trauma, what you did with the trauma after, and if you're able to manage the trauma now. So touching on that in our sessions.